back, YouTube! Hi there! I'm currently live on Twitch.tv for Kitty Cassie forward slash. Don't hesitate to stop by. It's always a great time. Everybody's super awesome, super handsome here. And uh, yeah, today I want to go over um, the patch notes. Well, is it? do we actually have the full patch note though? We do have the full patch note. So we do have the full patch note. We also have the recap here. And we also have a PV for Tempesta event coming out. So first of all, going over the patch note, um, there's a few things here that's been added. Uh, we have some fleet chat, just a gram, new ports, blah, 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 blah. We've got new event. These details, basically everything. I don't really want to go over all of this because it's pretty self-exploratory every single time. Um, and it's going to be easier to just go over the recap there. Um, I will say some of the notes they don't really tend to say, right? Is that we are also getting some reruns, right? Uh, I don't think that was announced beforehand, but it is happening. So all of the previous Tempest ships are rerunning. We do have Waida, Golden Hind, Sao Martino, and Marie Celeste, which is very, very cool. And those characters will be available in the Event Construction Pool 1 and the Rate Up in Event Construction Pool 2. Um, which apparently means we have two construction pools, interestingly enough. So here we can see that the new characters, Ganji Isawai, Fancy, Amity, Portsmouth Adventure, are all available in the construction pool 1. Um, and the construction pool 1 is a new construction pool from Tempest Eye and the Sleeping Sea, which include both the new limited characters uh, and the rerun characters. But the question is, what is the construction pool character 2? The Evan Construction Pool 2 is the rerun construction pool for Tempesta. Um, but the new limited characters are not going to be in this. So essentially what's going to happen is that we'll have two events pools. We'll have the event pool, which is this one. It will have all the new characters and the rerun characters. And then we'll have a special second pool that will only be the rerun characters, right? So for example, let's say... You don't care about the new one, you only want the old one, you can pull here. Or, if you pull here and you got all of the new characters already, and now you want to grab the older one, you don't care about the copies of Fancy and whatnot, then you can pull on the second one, and you will only get all the characters. So this is very nice that they separate them. Really, really appreciate it, obviously. Now, apart from this, obviously, we're going to get some new officers because... They are very specific Meow officers for the Pirate Nations, Tempesta Nation, right? Before we had, I believe, Kid as well as Drake. Now we're also getting Avery and Robert, which is very exciting. What I'm wondering is, is there going to be a way to get the old Meow officers? So let me see. Drake. Drake does not appear in here, so maybe Drake and Kid won't be available, which would be too bad because I, I kind of want to get those Pyrrhus cats, but if they're not, it is what it is. At the very least, we're getting some new Meow officers. Now, are these Meow officers good? From the past event, from the past Tempesta events, the Meow officers were pretty good, but not as good as the best you can get. As in, essentially, they come with fixed skills, which are decent. So it's like, essentially, imagine pre-built Meow officers, which means you don't have to go through the struggle of getting new cats, and praying for good, uh, you know, luck, essentially. But, uh, cats with good luck that you've worked toward has the potential to be way better, right? So they're definitely decent until you get really, really good, right? So for me, for example, since I'm a new-ish player, um, and getting very strong cats is hard, this is going to be very, very good for me, right? So exciting for me to see that. I'm looking forward to it. I want to get those free cats. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Now we're also going to get a bunch of new skin. One for every single new characters, as well as some added one from Bristol. Um, Otago and Owari, for example, right? They're very, very cool looking. We are getting a rerun for skins. You can see everything in here, right? We have the new construction pool with Amity, Portsmouth Adventure, Fancy, Genji, Sawai. And you can see all of the skins here. Uh, they're Halloween themed, very cool looking. Some of them are amazing. I think Owari and Atago are incredible. But I also think the mermaid one for uh, Ganji is superb. Um, I actually also really like the Amati one. Uh, I think she's cute here with the dress. Um, then the shell, the detective one is also pretty cute for um, whatever her name is. Her name is 
uh, Bristol. So there we go. Now we also have the minigame Manju Pirates. Uh, onward, Manju Pirates. We'll also have a Halloween Lucky Box, which this gives you 2024 um, gems. It also gives you a random skin from this uh, pool. It gives you some cubes. It gives you some coins, probably, all of that. It's a goodie pack, essentially. I think it's 20 bucks around there. It's very, very cool. Generally, that's the kind of stuff I buy because it gives so much of a lot of things that I really enjoy it. Now, we're also going to get some PT reward from participating in a new event. So, playing through these events, we'll be able to get some specific items. You can see here, those are the two. It's kind of hard to see, I think, even if I zoom in a lot. Uh, the quality is not super, super high, so it becomes all muddy. But you can see there are some items that seem to be both equipment, potentially auxiliary, as well as the cat, right? Here on the left, I do believe this is going to be um, Avery, right? On the left here, it looks like a cat girl with pink hair. On the right, it seems to be just an elite meow officer. That's probably going to be uh, Roberts, right? So very, very cool. Uh, on top of it, by accumulating rewards, you can get another cat. Oh, there's two other cats here. Oh, that might be Drake and... Oh, it's hard to see because it's so... Not high quality enough. But yeah, essentially, you can get, like, Dolphin, Adventure Galley um, from the from getting the things. And you can also exchange Amity and Marie Celeste from the PT shop. So both Amity and the rerun will be available for trade in the shop. And you can also get Dolphin and Adventure Galley from just getting points overall. As well as some... I think those are the previous... Uh, meow officers, right? There's also a augment module for every single new characters, so classing tempest and stuff. And then we also have the sales and spooks, which I don't know what this is. I think this is a daily. You have like seven quests for seven days. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is what it is. We have the fleet chat, classic like you know, just grams messages. We have the rerun pool. We have the rerun for the tempest and secret shipyard, which I think is gonna be a similar, you know, like seven day missions. The rerun skins here, if you want to grab them. I know that Golden Hind is very enjoyed. You can see a full bakery is here on display. So that is something you can look forward to if you wish. And we are getting both a rerun furniture for the pirate cabin. And the new furniture, which is also a pirate and ghost ship theme. So very, very cool overall. Very exciting stuff. We also have, obviously, you know, the... the as per usual, I, I do want to talk about this. We are getting some monthly updates because we are going to be turning to November very soon. So we'll have the login furniture as well as the holographic bridge. Um, we'll be getting new furniture, the afternoon dream home. Uh, so that's for the private quarter, right? So uh, we are getting something here. I feel like the afternoon dream home might be a new area. I'm not entirely sure. We don't seem to have any explanation here. But they didn't announce a new character available in there, so I guess we'll find out. Now, apart from that, we have the classic CV update because there's going to be some new lines, new voice lines, etc. If you marry the characters as well, obviously. Uh, a bunch of system optimization to help a lot of things with the private quarters specifically. Um, so you can optimize the perspective movement speed. A plot skip button to the private quarters if you wish so. Um, optimize the purchase prompt, which is good overall, fix a lot of issues, blah, 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 blah. And then, obviously, a reminder, don't forget to exchange stuff if necessary before the banners go out and the events are off. Now, we also have a reminder that those characters will not be available. Uh, those are not yet in the permanent banners, so if you want to pick them up, do it right now, because we will be going to maintenance very soon. Now, as the final thing, I do want to say we are obviously getting compensation for the maintenance with a total of 2,500 coins and 3,000 oil. On top of all of that that I just mentioned, we are getting that lovely Azure Lane Tempest and the Sleeping Sea event PV. So we have it here. We're going to have a look. Man. Postmos Adventure is so sick, dude. It's crazy. Ah, oh, Delphine, so cute! I love her. She's adorbs. Tentacles! Our favorite. That's an eye. I love it. She looks so insane. I absolutely love it. I mean, she's a mermaid. Mermaids are insane.
Uh, by the way, she has like triple tongue. It's crazy. She has like crazy tongues, dude. It's insane. I don't know if you saw her <laughs> icon. It's crazy. Amity! I really love Amity's design. I think she looks fantastic. Look at her. She's so cute. And she has like one horn. I, I appreciate the asymmetrical horns, to be honest. I think it looks cool. I just like some flame in the eyes. I'm expecting her to be like official. <laughs> I'm expecting her to tell me about like weird shit all the time because she's, I don't know, weird. The sickness on her is insane. I think she's officially the sickest ship girl in the entire game. Not even, what's her name? Uh, the, the cow girl? Even the cow girl is not that sick, dude. Maybe her boobs are huge, but like her, the entirety of her is thick. It's incredible. Like, look at that! Jesus Christ! I need to take a, a step back to be able to, to see the entire hip she has. Damn! Oh, she's so cute! Dolphin is adorable. I love her. She's so funny. She's actually a treasure hunter rather than a pirate. Oh, the Halloween Nussie. That's a rerun, right? Oh, right. Yeah, it's all the uh, Halloween skins. This one is okay, I like it. This one is uh, a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about this one. I think she's too young to be in that kind of bad fit. Owari is looking incredible, though. Oh, I didn't realize she had stolen a doula hand. Well, I guess it's not a doula hand. I guess it's a doula hand now. I didn't realize she had stolen the head. I mean, I guess it's a doula, doula hand, even if he doesn't have his cask anymore. He doesn't have a head regardless. But she just stole it and ran away. Bristol, you twat. <laughs> This is crazy, I can't. Ah, they need to be... They made the, the fake ad mobile games. That's a fake ad mobile game. Is it? Like you go on the right side and it gives you upgrades? I don't even know. It could be. That would be awesome. I actually want to play those games. Hi, looking good, looking really good. Yeah, I'm super excited. It's gonna be my first, I mean, this is the first of everything with me because I only started playing in July, right? But this is my first time getting a Tempesta event and I feel like it's one of the rarer events. So I'm very excited for that. I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna to try to get every single uh, character I can. People seem to be very happy. The golden age and then someone losing their mind. Uh, anybody else rewind that Atago skin reveal them? The fun fact, the Black Pearl is in fact a real ship and could in theory eventually be in the character in Azure Lane. Alright, good shit. Anyway, overall, really, really nice. I'm looking forward to it. The patch is going live tomorrow. Uh, I'll be playing it. I'm very, very, very excited. So yeah, good, good, good stuff. Looking forward to it. Anyway, lots of love. Take care of yourself. I'll see you on the next video.